Hi everyone, Lori here uh, with The Lori Show, uh, bringing you all things happy and positive. Um, I wanted to wish you a Merry Christmas. Today's Boxing Day. Um, I did find my way to Walmart just because I needed to buy some polyspore and my little one, he's six and he had a small like surgery about about eight days ago, but we still need some polysporin. But it, it wasn't too busy, it wasn't crowded. I was a little apprehensive about going in there, um, worrying about negative energy that people have when they're in a, you know, kind of a desperate state of wanting to get some certain deal. But you know what, everyone seemed very, um, I don't know, like happy to be there, calm. It wasn't messy, it wasn't hectic, it was, it was really nice. Um, I do love shopping. I do love me some shopping. So I didn't really get anything. I bought some coffee and I, you know, like a tin of coffee that was on sale and I bought. I did get a nice big polysporin for Matthews. <laughs> That's my big Boxing Day haul. Anyways, um, when I was in the parking lot, I thought to myself, two things actually. I thought I went in there kind of almost expecting something negative, um, but at the same time, I usually expect positive. I, I make a point of expecting positive. So they say, you know, um, you know, we say as a as a result of the law of attraction, we our life is what we, you know, all the thought that we put into uh, all the thoughts that we've had in the past, or you know, up until today. Um, you know, we don't manifest immediately. Our thoughts aren't creating our reality in an immediate way. It's sort of a, a little bit of a lag or a little bit of a you know, a time delay, you know, and, and for good reason. Um, but I usually, ow, my cat, she's like having trouble with my foot. Hey, good girl. No, sweet her, she goes. Just sitting in the basement, it's the only place I can get a little bit of quiet to do a quick video, and I know it's, it's a little bit unprofessional, but um, what can I do? Um, Okay, so what I what I noticed is two things. The the negative that I kind of expected but didn't receive, which is great. So it shows that my overall um, frequency or vibration is positive because I was still able to attract positive to myself. I have to be careful though because I didn't even realize that sort of expectation I was having upon walking in. Number two is that um, I was realizing that upon going inside, I was seeing some deals and I realized I don't need anything. And... Upon, not, upon realizing I don't need anything, I thought to myself, does that mean I really do have everything that I need, everything that I want right now? Um, I, I should be so grateful. I should be, like I do my gratitude list every day. In the shower, um, part of my routine in the morning is that I say my affirmations and I list five things that I'm positive, uh, sorry, that I'm grateful for. But wow. Like just, just to have everything I need to be grateful for having what I need is, is, is something that we should all do. We should all feel. So one thing that I want you to realize is that we need to realize that when you have everything you need, you're, you're in a state of, of maintenance. So you're not like, we're always focusing and pushing this whole growth mindset, this idea of increase, this idea of accumulating, this idea of, um, manifesting more or something but what if we're just manifesting a continuation of our current state or what if we want to manifest or continue not not necessarily manifest but maintain what we have so maybe we should ask ourselves you know in line with with positive psychology what's good instead of saying you know we tend to say how are you um or what's wrong which is opening up this kind of box of you know someone to complain or say something that isn't going well. But if you say what's good, it forces the person or yourself to think, huh, what is good? What is just fine how it is right now? That's what I want you to focus on today and moving forward is, hey, what's good? What do I have already? What do I have that I want to keep? So when you ask yourself, what do I have that I want to keep? That's like saying, what are the things I'm grateful for? And when those are the things that you never thought about being grateful for, that's because we've been taking those things for granted. So I ask myself, what's good? What do I want to keep? What do I want to maintain that I have already is things that we take for granted are things like I am able to walk. I have, I'm fully able-bodied and healthy. I have air in my lungs. 
I'm alive. I get to do each day, you know, over again. I get to live again each day when I wake up and take that breath. It's, it's something like some people, <laughs> everyone, <laughs> I was going to say some people die. Everyone dies one day and, you know, you're alive today. That's a gift. Do something with it. And that's not the point of my message. My message is be grateful to be alive, to have that breath in your lungs. Um, so that's three things. What else am I grateful for? I'm grateful that I have a house, you know, a roof over my head and I want to keep that. I want to maintain that. And I'm also grateful that I have a job, a well-paying job. I'm a high school teacher. I've mentioned this before. Um, I do want to do more things, but I'm still grateful for that. And I want to keep that and maintain that. So I'm going to have gratitude for the things I already have that, that I want to maintain. Hence, creating you know positive vibrations and high frequency and, and, and raising my own vibration so that I can attract more of those things that I can say what's good and I'll have more things to answer um so I'm just seeing if there's anything else I wanted to say yeah I think that's everything I wanted to say um please comment below something that you're grateful for that you want to maintain it could be something as elemental and simple as oxygen in your lungs something like a bed that you slept in or the fact that you got some sleep last night or that you know you you like even even if you have high blood pressure it's still it's still i have pressure in my blood you know i have pressure which means your heart's beating there has to be something that you can think of that you're grateful for that you want to keep and maintain so i'm just going to leave you with that what's good answer me <laughs> answer me put it below please um, I'm going to be focusing more, um, on my path to riches. Um, I have been trying to film that day eight to 10. Um, I'm up to day 16 or something, but I need to, uh, film, um, over Christmas and, and with work, it's been a little crazy, but I'm, I'm prioritizing this because I really want you to see this path that I'm taking. I'm finding uh, a lot of changes happening within me and in my thinking and my mentality, especially with some of these new habits. Um, way more control over my emotions it's it's actually kind of it's kind of interesting because the things i thought i wanted i i know are on their way but i'm getting more out of it than i ever thought um i'll share more with that more of that with you later uh, i want to keep this video short and sweet um i love all of you please comment below what you're grateful for and and what's good guys what's good okay so have a beautiful lovely day and a be positive Hi guys, one quick thing I forgot to mention in the video is a question you can ask yourself is, what do I want to keep the same in my life? So again, we're not always having to focus on increase and growth mindset and improvement. Maybe there are some things that are perfect the way they are, and that's what you need to focus on, okay? So what do I want to keep the same? These are the things you might be taking for granted. These are the things you need to be grateful for, okay?